what's up? Well, here is a little bit into the journey that it took with my surgery. Obviously, I am Julian Marquez. Most of you guys don't know me. Most of you guys do know me. If you just scrolled up on YouTube and just found some weird dude or cool looking face, you just had to click on the video. I'm Julian, just letting you know. Um, so, in July 6th, I ended up having a bout for the UFC and I fought. And uh, during that fight, I ended up having like this really rare tear. Um, I tore my lat off the bone of my, you know, right shoulder. It's basically the tendon that connects to your bone that holds your lats to do any lateral movements, uh, any push, pull, grab, whatever, completely tore off the bone. And uh, I proceeded the entire fight. I went through it. Um, it was a war. I was exhausted. I felt it in the fight. I couldn't grab certain things in there. Um, couldn't do certain things that I wanted to because my arm would just give out. And I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was like my shoulder, like I tore something in my shoulder. Well, uh, after the fight, the adrenaline died out. And man, well, I cannot tell you how much pain I had. It just hit me all at once. I remember looking at my coach, Coach Casey, and like I looked at him, and I could tell by looking at him that he felt for me because I was like on the verge of crying. But he like looked at me, and he was just like, like if I was his child, he wanted to like grab me and like comfort me or like just how a parent would. But I remember when he looked at that, like that's when I knew something was wrong with my arm because he could just see it. I tried to hide it, but it just didn't work out. I ended up going out to a wedding, and then about a month after my fight, a little under a month after my fight, when I went to this wedding in Chicago, I ended up having the surgery. And it was like a few hours um, it took, but basically they went into my uh, lat. So basically, if you have my arm up, they cut the incision from the bottom of my tricep all the way down to where my lat is and they dug inside and pulled my lat. Well, they cleaned the, the scar tissue on the, the bone. They dug inside my lat and put it onto my bone and they put anchors into it as well as putting on this uh, membrane, this immunoflex patch membrane that just helps heal it. Basically for six weeks, I uh, had been stuck in a sling where I couldn't move my right shoulder. So, in most like tears, like if you have like a labrum tear or uh, a rotator cuff, usually in about a couple like few days after you have this, they have you do a motion. They they're grabbing you and they're kind of like moving your arm so it gets movement, and that allows you to get more range of motion and it doesn't let scar tissue build up. So with mine, I have a whole bunch of scar tissue built up because I couldn't move my shoulder. So for six weeks, I had my shoulder just stuck at my chest. You know, I couldn't do anything at all. I wasn't able to run. Um, I could ride a bike, but even then, minimal. Uh, the doctor just pretty much explained the reason why is because your lat can tear right back off. It's not completely healed because um, it's the tendon to the bone. Uh, so six weeks of just having everything just built up a lot of scar tissue. Well, the incision, what sucks is like, the incision that I had, it has, it had a little hole. So it didn't heal because my arm was closed the whole time where it wasn't able to close up. So on top of having six weeks, we're able to work it, but we can only do so much that we had to wait till this hole closes. So it's been about um, a few weeks after I've had the sling out that my arm finally closed up to where they can actually dig into it. Um, they do Gratson, which is just best way to explain it to the untrained eye. And you can probably see videos. But they have like, it looks like a butter knife and they pretty much grab it and just push it on your scar tissue to break it down. Um, and like it just pretty much just separates the fascia is exactly what Heather told me earlier when I asked her. But uh, that's painful. This whole process now is painful because I, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't allow my body to change. Like 
my arm doesn't it doesn't want to move. It doesn't want to go in, in these places it's locked in. So in order for me to move it, I have to push myself beyond the point of which my arm will allow. And I don't have muscle there. It's, I have atrophied. Um, I don't have strength. So lifting my arm up over my head is very difficult. I have to use a, a an actual like wooden stick that allows me to grab it with my left hand and lift up as well to assist. You know, but man, it's it's painful. It, it hurts trying to lift it up because it, it feels like my arm is about to to pop out. Like the feeling I have every time my arm goes up is the equivalent of you taking your finger and pushing it back and keep trying to push it back to see if you could touch the back of your hand with the top of your fingertip. It's what it feels like every time, just constantly pushing it back. And it does not get any better. Um, but it's just the process, I guess. It's supposed to make you mentally tough for the future. <laughs> I mean, it's the toughest recovery rehab according to the professionals. The cool thing is here I'm at the Performance Institute, which has like, you know, high-end, you know, athletic trainers, physical trainers, as well as strength conditioning coaches, nutritionists, and everybody's helping me. They can see the frustration, you know, my weight has gone up, my happiness has gone away. The struggle is real, but each person has been helping me out, you know, like, I just got cleared to run for the first time about a week ago. I got cleared to hit mitts uh, about a week ago. And like, now I can actually start doing what I love versus watching it and seeing everything just like pass you by and not be able to do what you want to do. So, you know, I get up every morning at nine o'clock and I get into the strength and conditioning. And I every day sit there. They'll throw me on the bike. I'll walk on an incline. Um, you know, now that we just cleared the run, I can do a little bit of jog. I get on a Versa climber and just one arm or Versa climber. So I'm just moving my feet and climbing up. Um, I do a row machine now, which is one arm. Can't use my right arm. Or I just walk in a circle with a sled behind me that has a certain amount of weight on it. I just keep walking. Like if I was like Santa Claus training for Christmas. But uh, that's pretty much what I do every day. It's a journey. And now that I, I can hit mitts, which are fun, now I can move. I get to work on my leg kicks and get them better and get to get my left arm better. So when I come back, I'm gonna have very strong kicks very, very strong jab, hook, uppercut on my left side. So I'm ready for it.